Okay, this is uh, my cure for stink for asthma. Uh, I've I, I had asthma so severe about two or three times in my life that I had to go to the emergency room. So I became very interested in how to cure asthma. Uh, I found that ephedra was very effective against asthma, but ephedra was taken off the market as far as I can tell uh, because it was it caused uh, tachycardia rapid heartbeat and, and some people died from it. So that was no longer available. Then I happened to read in a book called The Green Pharmacy. Uh, actually the book was called um, Spontaneous Healing by Dr. Andrew Weil. He, he mentioned that stinging nettles could be used for asthma. At the time I was using an inhaler. So I bought some from my local health, health uh, store uh, and I bought a freeze-dried version and a regular version of stinging nettles. It's also called nettles. And uh, so I tried it when I had my asthma attack. I had my inhaler right near me just in case I needed it. I took it and it worked just as good if not better than the inhaler. I was very surprised. Um, Eventually, I got rid of my inhaler, but I kept it nearby for about a, probably about six months or more uh, until I got uh, tried it more more than once. Uh, it's called sting nettles or nettles. Okay, it's uh, mentioned in the book uh, Spontaneous Healing by Dr. Andrew Weil, who's Harvard educated. It's also uh, mentioned in the book The Green Pharmacy, a Dr. James Duke. You can look up stinging nettles on the internet. Um, just put stinging nettles health benefits or asthma, and you'll uh, kick out websites devoted to it. Here's here's one of the websites that's on Google, and apparently it's used for a lot more than just uh, asthma. But uh, make sure you you got your inhaler with you before you try this. Another uh, thing that you can use is actually coffee which is very surprising. Coffee has caffeine in it and one of the ingredients in uh, caffeine is theophylline. Let's see if I can find it here on the on Wikipedia. There it is. Theophylline right there. Can you see it okay? Theophylline, right there. Theophylline is used to treat asthma. That's from Wikipedia. Hope I got it right. Okay. There it is, asthma. And uh, it's got a fraction of theophylline in it, the, ca the caffeine. So you can get no dose and use use that you no dose is uh, caffeine in a pill carry that with you at all times but if you don't have that you can always get coffee or anything with caf caffeine in it any soda with caffeine will work in the in doc in dr james duke's uh, book this is dr james duke he tells the story of this woman he's the one that started the craze of, of caffeine used for asthma he uh, tells the story of a um, newlywed, a, a, a bride who got, just got, who got married in Hawaii, but she forgot her asthma medicine. Luckily, she read in a newspaper article on James Dukes that caffeine can can alleviate asthma symptoms, and she took it. She drank a couple of cups of coffee, strong coffee with caffeine in it, and she was able to. Uh, have her, uh, her marriage took place. She didn't have to stop her marriage and her honeymoon. So that was very nice uh, information to have available to you. Now the easiest way to, to make sure is to carry no dose and carry sting nettles with you at all time if you're an asthmatic, including your inhaler if you still want your inhaler. Just if you run out of your inhaler, this is your backup. About 25,000 people a year die from uh, asthma. I almost became a statistic myself, so this is a vital information for anybody. 
This is the guy who started me on uh, the, the path to, to stinging nettles. In this book, look it up in the index, asthma, and you'll find stinging nettles. And when I, when I read that, I said, wow. So I, I, I happened to live next door, to, not too far from a health food store. Uh, and I went there and I got freeze-dried stinging nettles and regular nettles. And just I had them and just when I was still on my inhaler, I tried it. I tried the uh, stinging nettles. It worked just as good, if not better, than the asthma you, than the inhaler. You can take as much as you want, as far as I can tell. I don't think there's any. So I took one or two capsules, and I was a believer after that. And I also use caffeine sometimes. I, I had a, I went out outdoors and had a meal, and I had an asthma attack, and I remembered to cut the coffee, and so I ordered a big pot of coffee, and I drank that, and that relieved my asthma symptoms. So that's my story. So I hope it works for, every, for you, too. Thank you very much.